Yeah, the governor issued that order today. Residents in that area are being told to stay at home. Only essential travel allowed if possible. A tough order for people in that Meridian area where there has been a recent spike of COVID-19 cases. It is a two-week shelter-in-place order for Lauderdale County, the first of the state's 82 counties where residents are being told to stay at home. A recent spike in positive cases in that county prompted the state health department to step in. I want to be clear. Uh, the fact that the first uh, shelter-in-place is issued for Lauderdale County does not mean that they have the most number of cases. It does not mean uh, that they are the only place in Mississippi where there are challenges. It is a test project for what could be more shelter-in-place orders to follow in other counties. State health officials say a nursing home in Lauderdale County is considered to be a hot spot for this highly contagious virus. The order goes into effect Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Starting Wednesday morning, health officials will begin more widespread testing. Once we identify those individuals who are cases, um, we appropriately isolate them and quarantine their contacts. These are strategies that we use in any number of infectious diseases. And we know that the way that this virus transmits is through that close uh, transmission. Residents are being warned to maintain social distancing and constant hand washing. They are being asked to limit travel for only essential needs like work, groceries, or other supplies. The governor says state law enforcement could be called in to enforce the health department orders if needed, not only in Lauderdale County, but other cities and counties as well. We are still closer to the beginning of this than we are to the end. Uh, we have um, weeks uh, to be dealing with this. It's not going to be over uh, tomorrow. Some of the governor's order may be a, a logistical challenge to enforce, but they said law enforcement could be called in to make sure those people who have the virus in that area or have been in contact with those people in the area remain in a quarantine. Live at the state capitol, Scott 716 WAPT News.